Future Business Leaders of America, Phi Beta Lambda, FBLA PBL for short, is one of the largest career student-based organizations in the world. FBLA helps prepare almost 230,000 students each and every year to prepare for careers in business. FBLA focuses on the leadership development, academic competitions, educational programs, membership benefits, community service, and awards and recognition. The concept of FBLA was developed in 1937 by Dr. Hamden L. Faulkner of Columbia University. The, then the first high school chapter was made in Johnson City, Tennessee on February 3, 1958, and the first PBL chapter was made in Iowa. The main mission for FBLA is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. My name is Beth Adams and as the CTA Director for Thomas County Schools, um, I spend a lot of time at Thomas County Central High School working with students in our career technical student organizations. One of those organizations here is FBLA. Um, as a former FBLA member when I was in high school and a business teacher who was an advisor for FBLA, it is one of the organizations that I feel benefits our students the most. Um, as a assistant principal and as a CTA director, I spend a lot of time with FBLA students, whether it's helping them test for competition or traveling with them um, while they attend their leadership events. It's just really exciting to be able to see our students get involved on the regional and local level, even at the state and national level, um, to, to see them pursue their FBLA dreams and, and to work to reach their goals in that direction. FBLA benefits Thomas County Central High School in that it really gives students an opportunity to build their leadership skills. Whether they're participating in, in competition um, or working on community service events, they really work to give back to the school. Not only do these students serve in FBLA, but they also really work to um, broaden their skills by taking the skills that they learn in FBLA and transitioning them into other organizations. Students who are in FBLA are members of other um, organizations. They compete in events like um, Science Olympiad. We have students that are part of the Student Ambassadors, our Student Government, um, National Honor Society. So really they take what they've learned in FBLA and those leadership skills and then they transition those into other skills or to other uh, departments. FBLA really benefits students in a lot of ways. Um, again, they build their leadership skills, they have a passion for community service, whether they're doing something that a national FBLA organization supports like March of Dimes, or whether they're doing something local community service-wise, they really try to get involved and give back to their community and to other organizations. Um, it also benefits students in the area of competitive leadership. Um, not only do our students have an opportunity to serve here locally as officers, but they also have this chance as at the region level to serve as officers and to build their leadership skills. Um, at those events, they also do different competitions where they can build their business and their leadership skills. Um, whether it be skills testing or performance events, they really have a chance to work with other students and build things like business plans or presentations, um, work on their job interview skills. All of these things are going to eventually help them as they leave high school and they enter college and eventually the workforce because they're going to have the background and the skills that they need to be successful. Um, they've been tested, they have worked with others, they have learned how to network um, with other individuals and um, with other students and with other adults in the business industry and it really gives them a perspective that maybe other uh, other students don't have because they've been out there in the community they've been out there working together and it's really going to give them a lot of the leadership skills they need to be successful in the future. FBLA is one of the popular clubs our school has to offer. You get to compete against other students and other schools in competitive events to advance onto the state and national level. Our school chapter has had loads of success in the past couple of years. FBLA teaches communication skills and prepares students for the real world after graduating high school and college. FBLA helps high school students explore college and career opportunities through a number of educational programs. The students can compete in academic competitions with other students from other schools in the state. 
The FUA Academic Competition gives students the opportunity to compete in over 60 academic events that cover over technology, public speaking, business, finance, ma management, and many more. My name is Nick Haskin and I'm the FBLA um, head advisor here at Thomas Kane Central High School. And um, as being the head advisor of FBLA, it's Future Business Leaders of America. Um, so we work with students to help them better themselves um, in the areas of entrepreneurship, of graphic design, of um, job interview and public speaking, all kinds of different areas um, when it comes to working inside of a business place, working with computers, working with um, computing documents, um, working with uh, business math, business calculations, business communication, all kinds of different areas. And so uh, we've, I've been here at Thomas Kane Central for about 15 years and FBLA has really grown during those years. Um, some of our first years of FBLA we had three or four members, seven members, um, and now we're nearing 100 members here at Thomas Kane Central High School. So we're very proud of what FBLA has become here at the school. Um, the FBLA kids get to really work um, hard on their events. Um, when they want to compete, uh, they com we compete at a regional level, a state level, and a national level, international. Um, and our students have actually won at all levels. So we've actually had uh, champions at regional level, at state level, um, and we've had teams place as high as third in the world. Um, actually last year, in our two teams placed third and fourth in the world and digital video production. So we're very proud of our students and how hard they work and what they do. Um, now when they're preparing for competitions, myself and Miss um, Osley, Miss Pierce, Miss Beach, uh, Miss Adams, um, various other teachers here at the school will help our students prepare for competition. They help with mock interviews uh, for our students, helping them prepare. Um, I know Miss Adams helped a lot with Shelby Howard, who actually was state champion in job interview, even placed eighth in the world um, in job interview. So um, a lot of those people are very instrumental. Uh, Miss um, uh, Jones um, even interviewed with her to help her prepare. Um, so our kids do all kinds of different things to prepare for competition. Uh, Mr. Young helps with video, um, and so does uh, so do, uh, various other people um, as they're preparing uh, for their competitions. Um, now, I specifically help with certain events, and we give students feedback and uh, make sure that they're preparing correctly uh, so that we can retain our region championship. We've been region champions ever since uh, the, region, the region has existed. And when we compete at region, we're not like a sports team. We don't compete against five other schools or six other schools. We're competing against 26 other counties. And so that can range up to all the way up to 50, 60 schools that we're competing against sometimes. And so we're very proud of the fact that we've actually held the region championship for six years in a row. Um, we've never been beaten um, since the region championship has started. So um, we're very proud of the young men and women of, of FBLA here at Thomas Kane Central High School. Um, the competitions help the students. Um, they can actually earn, um, not only earn recognition and um, and some scholastic credits sometimes for some of their events, but they also ha can earn money. Um, winners of our events at nationals can earn in the upwards of a thousand, two thousand dollars for being a national champion, international champion in their event, um, because they're sponsored by law firms, by accounting firms, all kinds of different people. Um, so we're very proud of the students, and we're very proud of where FBLA has come from here at Thomas Kane Central High School and where it's going. Um, it's an amazing program, and it's amazing because of the students and because of the leadership that um, that our president, vice president, all of our officer team has set forth, and the my co-advisors. They're they're amazing. Um, it's definitely um, you know a whole team that we have here at, Tom at Thomas Kane Central High School. We're proud of these kids.